Hi, GMA. Welcome to my dressing room. I'm Young Miko. We're backstage right now at the MSG Theater, getting ready for our second night at the XOXO Tour. So come on, join me. Ready? I actually got goosebumps when we were riding into the venue and I saw the signs and the XOXO tour. You know, I don't think I have an I made it moment. I don't think I want to have an I made it moment. Like, because I don't want to be like, wait, where do I go from here now? I want to keep thinking that wait, I can go bigger. There's a lot of songs on the album that we made with the mindset of how would this track sound when we're doing it with live instruments and being able to see the process go from just an idea to an actual song, an actual moment that goes on in the show and seeing the reactions of the crowd is just, like I said, it's just so rewarding. I never really had like a, the gay icon that I would like just look up to or at least I didn't know a lot of gay people like around me as well. As I grew older, grew older as well, I began to learn about other queer artists and began to look up to them and they had always been there. It's just there wasn't really a light that was shed on them. I just find it so special that I got to feel a, at least a little bit of love and care from afar from these great artists and being able to do that as well and move forward with that love and care for other people that may need it is just, I think is my biggest achievement ever. Baby Miko, literally Baby Miko. I tell Baby Miko that she's doing just fine. She didn't know that she was doing just what she had to do. I feel like more than telling her anything, I just like to hug her and, you know, let her know that she'll be just fine. Look, she looks happy too. Thank you GMA for stopping by. I hope you guys enjoy the show. I hope we get to see each other again. Lots of love, it's Baby Miko.